this module, we will look at the biomedical model of mental health. The understanding of mental health can come from many different frameworks. One of the most common distinctions made is between the biomedical and psychosocial model. The biomedical model is a framework employed to understand mental health and address mental health problems that have been predominant for many years. It views mental health problems primar primarily as biological or psychological illnesses. This model notes that mental health of an individual is conditioned by their genes and brain, and that mental health problems are the result of certain biological and individual characteristics or brain dysfunctions. This approach focuses the attention on the illness, biomedical factors, and genetic predisposition. Typical features are medicalized approach. By attributing mental health to abnormalities in brain structure or function, neurotransmitter imbalances, genetic factors, or other um, biological determinants, solutions under the biomedical model mainly involves medical interventions, such as medication or even surgery, with the goal of correcting or managing the identified biological abnormalities. The next is over-medicalization. It promotes forms of treatment that are primarily medical and pharmacological. And it might even suggest that since mental health problems are understood as stemming from the brain and genetics, there may be no possibility of meaningful recovery for an individual. The next is simplification of mental health support. With such a biomedical focus, this approach tends to oversimplify mental health issues by focusing primarily on um, biological factors and often neglects the complex interplay of psychosocial, social, cultural, and environmental factors that contribute to mental well-being. This module, this model may limit our understanding of the full range of factors influencing mental health and little room for more holistic and multidimensional interventions which consider intersectional needs. Fueling stigma is the next point that I want to mention. Relying on biomedical model can contribute to the stigmatization of individuals with mental health problems. Framing mental health as a medical problem risks overlooking the impact of societal attitudes, discrimination, and social determinants of mental health. Therefore, the biomedical model does not adequately consider the individual's experiences, cultural factors, and subjective perspectives of those dealing with mental health challenges. This can lead to responsibility being placed on the individual rather than the barriers that are being upheld at a systemic level. The next point is lack of person-centered approach. Medical interventions are valued above the wishes of the person with lived experience and their wider communities. This emphasis on the, med uh, on the mental impairment and on what a person cannot do has often led to the belief that People with mental health problems can be considered as inferior or inadequate to contribute to society. They are seen as a problem, burden or danger, with little to no responsibil responsibility of recovery. A biomedical understanding of mental health has often led to the legitimization of policies, laws and practices that lead to coercion, exclude people with mental health problems from society, and allow for the provision of inadequate uh, care. So, for example, often being delivered out of charity or pity and without the best interest of the individual in mind or their full consent. In response to these limitations, there is a growing recognition of the importance when it comes to moving beyond a narrow focus of biological factors and adopting an approach that embraces the need for integrated and individualized mental health care and support. Underlying the psychosocial approach to mental health will be the focus of the next module. Stay tuned.